Chris and Tom. Today I'm going to be showing you my desk, my ultimate, ultimate gaming station, which is gaming, but ultimate. Um, so I've had this set up for a while now and all the equipment's there, but give or take a few bits. Green screen should be working, hopefully. But let's first have a look at my desk. So the desk I started off with actually was a very small desk. This is my new upgraded one I got from Argos for about £90. Uh, I got it because it gives you a lot more room, gives you a lot more control over what you can do and what you can place on it. And next we will go on to the microphone. So the microphone is just a basic sort of microphone I got for about tenner, and the frame I got for another fiver. And it's not the best one in the world, but it does the job. So. It's, this setup's kind of like a cheap one you can do, but you will have to add to it and upgrade some stuff at a certain time. Right, so the speakers are Philips speakers, they offer great range and volume, and I actually got them from a car boot for about two quid. So you know, give or take a little. Uh, next we'll move on to the tripod. The tripod at the back of my monitor. <laughs> <laughs> the tripod. <laughs> so behind the desk is the tripod, which I actually keep my camera camcorder on, you know, for face cams for videos like Slender and Outlast, which should be out or will be coming out. There's also going to be new sorts of face cams for other games that are coming out. Uh, next we'll go straight onto the monitor. 27 inch Full HD LED. So, amazing sort of monitor. I got that, granted it was 200 quid, but it's big enough for me to watch movies, play games, listen to music, watch porn. I, I, I mean, um, to watch people play chess and move their pawns, of course. Someone's been messing with my scripts. Um, uh, moving on, um, the keyboard I got was a Mad Cat's keyboard. I can't specifically remember which one it is, but it's a red one with lights, got three different settings, can turn the volume up and down. Proper gaming keyboard. Definitely recommend you get it, because if you want your keyboard like stood up slightly or you just want it flat, you can do that. You've got an attachment which you can add to it, which gives you more sort of like rest on it. It's basically just an amazing keyboard. So I got that for around £50. Next we'll go on to the computer. So, uh, the computer. This is a custom built with red LED lights. The GPU is an AMD Radeon 5500 series with a 6 gb of system memory, which is enough for me. Uh, the processor is an AMD Athlon 2 X4640. Uh, the motherboard is a gigabyte, but I'll have to uh, have the specs in the description because it's just so confusing. Uh, it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM and 2 terabytes of hard disk drive. That was 200 quid, which I actually got from CEX. But I had had to pay another 50 quid for another terabyte of hard drive, so I had to install that myself. Uh, the mouse and the mouse pad, both from Asda, both about a tenner for both of them, yeah. About ten for both of them, just nothing fancy, wireless Polaroid one, and a mouse mat, average two quid mouse mat. Uh, the newest addition to my computer equipment is my new Microsoft Surface 3. So, my Microsoft Surface 3, I have no idea, it's pretty much just another screen, what I use for when I do videos so I can look up sort of lore of the game if I really wanted to, or look into the background, or prove a point. It's just sort of a researching sort of thing I can use. Uh, I could use it, you know, as an extra camera if I really wanted, but the camera's not exactly that good, you know, as it being on a tablet. I have two different lamps, one which Chris actually gave me, which is a powerful lamp to just project light, and a secondary one which is to get rid of all the shadows in it. So both of them, one of them was I got when I was very young and the other one Chris just gave me. So if you have a friend who gives you stuff, you slide with that one. 
Uh, I'll put the links to some of the products in the description if you yourself would like to start. Just like to say you don't have to start out shedding a lot of money out if you want to start YouTubing and gaming. You just need pretty much a console, um, a computer or a laptop and a capture card. But if you don't want to do console and you just want to do computing, there's enough um, sites out there which lets you do it for free. Or just pay 20 quid and you're sorted. So, or you can just get a friend which gives you stuff. Yeah, or you can get Chris. I have a Chris. Um, so yeah, that's it for this episode. Or mini-series. No, I'm kidding, it's an episode. I've bored myself with this one. Um, so yeah. Bye.